Hello everybody and welcome back to the Crazy Poppy Lady. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the single crochet, the half double crochet, the double crochet and the treble crochet. Um, with these squares I used a 3.5 millimeter, millimeter hook and a DK weight yarn. Today I'm going to be using a 4 millimeter hook and an arum weight yarn to make it a bit easier for you to see. All right, so let's get going with our single crochet. Right, so to start with any basic project, we're gonna to need to make a slip knot. Now for me, I literally spin it around like that and then pick up that section there between my fingers and pull through. That's the one I found easiest for me. There are lots of tutorials online that um, show you lots of different ways of doing this. Okay, so we're starting with a chain. I'd suggest a chain of 20. It gives you a nice amount to practice on. Not only that, that's a chain of 20. Um, and it makes a nice size square so that we can use it for maybe a patchwork blanket at a later point. So here we go. So to chain you bring your wool over the hook that is called a hook over and you pull it through like that okay let's bring this up closer so we hook over and pull through hook over pull through hook over pull through hook over pull through and we just keep going now until we've got 20 Okay, I'll meet you back here in a moment. Okay, so you've got your chain of 20, I hope. If not, just rewind me for the first few seconds and have another listen, have another attempt. It doesn't have to be too neat, just not too tight. Okay, so as we are doing a single crochet, at the end of our chain, we are going to add one more. Okay, that is our turning chain. So now we turn, turn your work slightly to the side. You'll see that you've got a V here. If we go in, not the first one, we don't count this one on the hook. So not the first one, but into the second one, you put your hook. Okay, now we're going to yarn over and pull through. It gives you two on the hook. Yarn over, pull through both. That's your first one. So we'll try that one again into the next V. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. And again into the next V, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Into the next one, yarn, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two into the next, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, into the next one, try and get that out of the way, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now we're going to carry on along till we get to the very last stitch. I'll meet you back there in a moment. Right, I'm back with you now, so I'm just coming up to my last stitch now. And the last one is literally just in front of that knot, right at the beginning. So make sure you go in and do as you've been doing, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So now we're at the end. So to turn, you yarn over and do one slip stitch, like that. Now we turn our work. Now we don't count this one here, we stab this little hole here, okay? Now what you want to do is as you do it, check that you've got a V sitting on the top of your hook. If you can see there, I've got my normal stitch here and now I've got the V, okay? So that means you've gone into your stitch properly. So we hook over and we pull through, and we hook over and we pull through two. Okay, so there's your first, 
Okay, so onto your second, pop it in. This one's quite a nice one because there's normally quite a decent size gap if you see. If you pull your work apart a little bit, there'll be a decent gap for you to go into. So you literally pop it in, pull over, pull through, yarn over and pull back. So in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull back. Now we'll keep doing that all the way to the end of the line. And then when you get to the end of the line, do a slip stitch and turn your work. Right, back with you again. At I'm my set. I'm on my second stitch from the end. Okay, now, if you look closely here, you'll have a weird wiggle, a little knot, and you want to go in just to the side of that little knot. And that is your last stitch. When you do that, check that you've got your V over, over your hook. Okay? If you notice there, I didn't, so I went back in and had another go. Okay, so now we just yarn over and pull through both again. Okay, so that's what the work's now looking at at the end of row two. So we chain one, turn your work, skip that first chain and into the second. Okay, making sure that you have your V above. There we go. All right, then we hook over and we pull through. Hook over and pull through two. Just as you've been doing all the way along and you just keep going. Now, it is a good idea that um, when you get to an end of, end of the row, that you actually count your stitches to ensure that you haven't missed any or popped your hook in the um, wrong place at the start of start of your chain. So I'll just uh, get to the end of this one and show you the easiest way I've found to um, count your stitches. Right, here I am coming up to the end of this round. Okay, I've got to make sure that um, I find that little wiggly bit and that knot and then come into the side with my two on my hook. Okay, pull through, pull up, pull through. Okay, so as I'm taking this off the hook, I'm going to pull it up a little, pull up the yarn a little bit, pop a stitch marker on, so it doesn't matter if I pull it too tight, or the dog gets hold of it, or the cat, I'm not going to lose my place. Okay, so when you're counting, if you turn it towards you like this, you'll see that we've got these V's that I've mentioned previously. Okay, so each one of these V's just represents a stitch, isn't it? So if we count along, the V's here, you have, you should have 20 stitches. Fingers crossed I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. That's my 20th here. Okay, so I'm going to leave you to um, practice some more and go backwards and forwards. Now remember, it's so a chain one next and then work your row all the way along. Chain one, turn and work your way back. And I'll see you shortly. Right, for, so for me to make this square, I ended up doing 22 rows. Best and simplest way I've found to work out how many more rows you need is to literally fold it as you're working. So after every couple of rounds, you give it a fold. Once once it all matches up, you know you've got your square. If um, if not, it would be sitting sort of like that. And it would work its way up and up and up till you get to there. Okay, so have a practice, have some fun and knock out a couple of squares. And um, I'll uh, speak to you in a little bit where we'll be moving on to the half double crochet. See you shortly.